Good morning. Welcome back to BT. Uh, we are hearing and seeing some slick and icy conditions on the north and southbound 404 between 16th Avenue and Queensville Side Road, uh, where we are getting reports of several vehicles and ditches uh, on the southbound 404 between those two points. Also on the southbound 404 south of Aurora Road, we have a right lane block because of a stalled vehicle and delays on the southbound uh, 404 DVP from the 401 to about south of Lawrence. So a very uh, busy stretch heading towards Newmarket and uh, towards Richmond Hill on the southbound 404 DVP combo. What I can see right now is just volume delays on the west Westbound 401, so that's what I'm watching. It's a busy drive on the westbound 401 approaching Brock Street to west of Lake Ridge. And then we have delays on the westbound 401 from Nielsen to Kennedy, alternately express and collectors, all just due to typical volume. This is a look over at the 400. As you can see, this camera covered in uh, some drizzle here. Southbound 400, a little bit busy. Aurora Road to south of King Road, that's due to volume. Just take, your, take it easy out there, heading down towards the 401 ramp, says, of course, we are also looking at some slick and icy conditions on the southbound 400, uh, mostly up towards the Barrie area. Find out how much is too much screen time for kids and meet the man behind the hit cartoon Bluey in the parenting podcast, Attitude. Visit globalstorynetwork.com. That's a look at what we have going on for your drive, Frankie. It's an icy one. Yeah, depending upon where you are, some areas seeing that patchy freezing drizzle, other areas just seeing drizzle, and then some seeing some flurry activity. Uh, with temperatures this morning sitting right around plus one over through Oakville and Burlington, that's the areas of drizzle. We've been seeing some freezing drizzle uh, north of the city up through Brampton into Stouffville, of course, into Markham. The island right now sits around the freezing mark as well as Pearson. Road conditions can change at any time. Just be aware of that. It's only through the early morning that we're going to see this risk. Uh, later on this morning, we'll still see some flurry activity, which we've been watching over towards southwestern Ontario. Here's a look at that future forecast. You can see that continues up until about 8 o'clock into the afternoon as well. Here in Toronto this afternoon, we have mainly overcast skies, then some late day clearing. And that brings us towards sunshine for the bulk of Wednesday into Thursday as well. Thursday, just a risk of some flurries in the early morning hours. A daytime high today, going to be plus one. But tonight, with the winds changing and the skies clearing, we're going to see an overnight low of minus nine. Tomorrow, a cool day, but pretty nice. As a matter of fact, winds fairly light, minus one, mainly sunny. Some sunshine through Thursday with light day cloud cover and a temperature of minus two. That's a look at your next three days weather-wise. Have a great Tuesday. Well, numbers out of China on the Wuhan coronavirus are up significantly today. At least 106 are now confirmed dead. There are over 4,500 cases. Here at home, though, there are two patients in Toronto, one officially confirmed by the National Lab, the second a presumptive case, so it still needs to be officially confirmed. The couple recently visited Wuhan. The husband, currently in isolation at Sunnybrook, the wife is at home in self-isolation. Another 19 people in Ontario are being tested. Tested, and the Public Health Agency of Canada is now boosting their presence at international airports like Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal to help with screening. Now, there are still a lot of questions about what we can do to help prevent the spread and also a lot of questions about the coronavirus in general. So I'm going to be joined by Ontario's Health Minister, Christine Elliott. She'll be here on BT at 8 a.m. Another big story that we're following today... Parents get set to look for alternate childcare next week as the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario ramping up their job action. The union, which represents 83,000 public elementary public school teachers and education workers, say that their members will be taking part in a one-day province-wide strike next Thursday, Feb 6th, if a deal cannot be reached by this Friday, which does look unlikely. On top of that, a strike is scheduled for Halton on Monday, on Tuesday for boards including Peel and Durham, and then on Friday, Toronto, Toronto Catholic, York and Hamilton. Now at the heart of this battle, funding for special education, class sizes, preserving the kindergarten program and compensation. Right now, no new talks are scheduled. What I want you to do is grab... White House lawyers expected to submit more opening arguments today in U.S. President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. This after a former national security adviser took center stage in yesterday's hearings. John Bolton was the focal point of the Republicans' arguments on Monday. GOP senators are urging him to come forward and testify in the trial after claims in his upcoming book were reportedly written about the U.S. president. They apparently suggest that Trump told John Bolton to withhold any military support from Ukraine until their president agreed to investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. Now, Trump's legal team has insisted there is no linkage. 
And looking at another legal matter here, U.S. prosecutors say that Britain's Prince Andrew is giving zero cooperation into the Jeffrey Epstein inquiry. Officials, including the FBI, say they've tried contacting the Duke of York but haven't received a reply. The prince previously said he didn't see or suspect any suspicious behavior of this then-friend Epstein, but that he was willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency. Buckingham Palace says the prince's legal team is dealing with the issue but would not comment further. The 66-year-old Epstein, who was convicted, who was a convicted sex offender, took his own life while awaiting trial on sex trafficking and conspiracy charges.